Good everyone, it's Steve from Sneaker Tech Talk, back with another video today. For today's video, we will be doing a versus video on the Nike Zoom GT Cut 3 versus the serious player only, Player One Plus. All right, so just to get things started, as always, we're gonna start with the traction pattern. On the Nike Zoom GT Cut 3s, you are getting a full length herringbone traction pattern in this translucent outsole right here. Now how these perform on court, as long as you're playing on a clean floor, you'll have no issues at all. You may have to wipe from time to time, but they do a fantastic job of gripping the floor on linear movements, lateral movements, you'll have no issues. Now where this shoe does struggle is on dirty floors. These pick up a ton of dust. Now when I was wear testing the white and red colorway, I did make a really hard lateral cut after about three or four minutes on the floor and I almost did the splits in the Nike Zoom GT Cut 3s. So that was bothersome, but as long as you're wiping, you really should be covered as far as the traction goes on the Nike Zoom GT Cut 3s. Now moving over to the Series Player Only Player One Plus, you do kind of have this spiral wound traction pattern right here and it is in the herringbone variety. And this colorway right here, the Joker colorway is a solid outsole, but I have played in translucent outsoles in this variety as well. And you're not gonna have any issues at all with the Player One Plus. On clean floors, dirty floors, you will be good to go. This is a tried and true traction pattern. And last year, actually in 2023, this was my favorite traction pattern. So again, the serious player only Player One Plus does a fantastic job as far as the traction goes. So if I had to pick between both of these models, what I enjoyed more on court, I would definitely give it to the Player One Plus. Now, as far as the cushioning goes on both of these models right here, as far as the cut threes go, you are getting a Phylon midsole right here on the outside, and that offers some great stability here on the midsole as far as the cushioning goes. It has a decent amount of compression. It does take some time to break in, however. Now, directly under your insole, you are getting a full-length ZoomX foam compound, which offers a very nice and plush feeling directly underfoot, but it's not the most responsive in my opinion. I'm six foot three, 210 or 215 pounds. And with these, you definitely sink a bit more into the midsole here in the cut threes. It's a very nice ride and it's pretty close to the floor in the forefoot, but it's definitely not my favorite. Now with the Player One Plus from Serious Player Only, you are getting four options. Two of them do come with the shoe for the standard $180. And those two are the Evan Lawn Light, basically just a standard Phylon midsole. It offers a great amount of compression and court feel at the front of the shoe. So this one here is definitely a fan favorite. And then the Strength drop-in midsole right here. Again, Phylon midsole. The white portions are ETPU foam, so basically a boost foam-like compound, very plush underfoot. And then the blue portions they call gum and it's basically a memory foam at the bottom of the shoe. So you are getting both of these options right here for $180, different compounds of cushioning. I really enjoy both of these setups right here. And then you can actually get the support drop in midsole, which is the exact same as the strength with the three different foams. It just has this lateral plate right here that offers some more support. And then last but not least, my favorite, the explosive drop in midsole. Basically a full length boost setup with that ETPU like foam. You have a sock liner at the top with a bunch of grippies here at the top. And then the yellow portions at the bottom are some more grip. So when you do slide this in your shoe, it's not gonna slide around at all. A ton of impact protection while keeping your foot close to the floor. So again, here in the Player One Plus, you are getting four options versus the one in the GT Cut 3. So as far as the cushioning goes, between both of these models right here, I would have to give the edge to the Player One Plus. Now, as far as the fit goes on the Player One Plus, I did go with a size 11 in these because some of their first shoes that I did get from the brand did fit a little bit smaller. So I stuck with my standard size 11 in these because I want all of my drop and midsoles to be able to work interchangeably on any of the shoes. I have a little bit less than a thumbs width in this shoe. It offers a very snug one-to-one -one fit. However, with this shoe right here in the forefoot, it does taper in just a little bit. So if you are a wide footer, I would recommend going up half a size. Also with those drop in midsoles, they do have a side wall. So I would recommend going up half a size in the Player One Plus, whereas on the Zoom GT Cut 3, I think going true to size is definitely a safe 
that. As far as the materials go on the cut threes, you are getting a bunch of synthetic materials. Starting at the back of the shoe, you are getting a screen mesh. Moving your way forward, you are kind of getting this synthetic material that's almost like a canvas material right here, and then some fuse portions right here. At the toe box, you are getting a fit, really cheap felt material that does wrap up the tongue. It is perforated, and you are getting some more perforations right here on the medial side. And then this green patch right here is some more of that felt like suede or nubuck material back on the GT Cut 3s. I will say for $190 or $200, I'm not a huge fan of what you're getting here as far as the materials go. Now, as far as the materials go on the Player One Plus, you are getting a nerve knit material here in the forefoot. And that's basically a very thin mesh material with a ton of TPU strands running throughout and then some more fly wire strands running throughout as well. It's a very strong, but thin and breathable material. You are getting some fused portions around the toe box and around the eye stay. At the back of the shoe, you are getting a synthetic material. And then sitting at the top of the tongue, you are getting a new buck. And then running down the tongue, you're getting a mesh that has a ton of perforations. So as far as the materials go, between the two of these shoes right here, if I had to give the slight edge to one over the other, I would say that I do enjoy the materials on the Player One Plus a little bit more. And these do come in $20 cheaper than the GT Cut 3s. Now as, far as the, now as far as the support goes on both of these shoes right here, I'm gonna get this out of the way right off the bat. The Player One Plus is the more supportive option. Now starting with the shoe right here, you do have an internal heel counter at the back of the shoe with a secondary heel counter with this external TPU clip. Moving your way forward from that, this nerve knit material is very strong and very breathable and does a great job of keeping your foot housed in on those hard lateral cuts. You also have this TPU clip right here on the side of the shoe that does run from basically the pinky toe into the midfoot. So that does a fantastic job of harnessing your foot in. And then you also have this outrigger right here. So if you do land awkwardly, it's gonna prevent your foot from teetering over. At the bottom of the shoe, you have a very wide and stable base here in the forefoot. And then last but not least, you have a carbon fiber shank plate right here for midfoot support and torsional rigidity here in the Player One Plus. Moving over to the GT Cut 3s, again, starting at the back of the shoe, internal heel counter. It does a great job of locking your foot in the back of the shoe. These materials right here, although they are synthetic, they do a great job of harnessing your foot in on any hard lateral cuts, as long as you have your proper size and you have these snugged up very tight around your foot. Moving your way to the forefoot, you do have these fly wire cable strands on the lateral and on the medial side, which again, all of these things are helping aid your foot stay on the footbed. And then you actually have this rubberized clip right here, whereas on the Player One Plus, it is plastic. It's a little bit more durable and rigid. Whereas on these, it is just rubber. But again, it does house your foot in on those hard lateral cuts. Moving your way to the bottom of the shoe in the forefoot, you have a pretty wide and stable base. And then right here at the midfoot, it does run into the forefoot. You do have a shank plate, which does offer some great torsional rigidity. And then when you load the shoe here in the forefoot, it does kind of jump and propel you forward, whether you're running or jumping. So as far as the support features go on the GT Cut 3s, definitely no shortage and they're definitely a great basketball shoe as far as the support goes. But if I had to give the edge to one over the other as far as the support goes, I'd be going with the Player One Plus every day, all day. This is one of, if not the most supportive low top basketball shoes out today. So that's gonna do it for today's performance comparison video on the Player One Plus versus the GT Cut 3s. This is Nike's best offering as far as low top basketball shoes go. And then serious player only, this is their flagship model, the Player One Plus. You can grab them over on their website for $180. And then the Cut 3s are on Nike.com for between $190 and $200. But sound off in the comments, what do you guys prefer between both of these shoes right here? Again, I really enjoy this shoe. Whenever I'm wear testing shoes in the gym, I'm always bringing at least one pair of the Player One Plus in my gym bag. I do, however, really enjoy the GT Cut 3s. I do think these are a fantastic successor to the GT Cut 2s, but sound off in the comments what you guys prefer out of both of these models. Like I mentioned, that's gonna do it for today's video. As always, if you guys could like, comment, and subscribe, that definitely helps the channel a ton. And check out my Instagram over at Sneaker Tech Talk, as it is an extension of my YouTube channel with all my pickups, 
basketball footage and nostalgia as a whole. As always, thanks for watching today's video and until next time, peace.